Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be with my scouting report on JJ McCarthy, so let's get into it. So the quarterback in Michigan is highly regarded because of his traits and not its production. He has great arm talent. He shows off his deep ball at times. He can put a high velocity on passes, but he does need to put more touch on his throws. His wind up also takes too long. And McCarthy is accurate, but also inconsistent. He has good accuracy throwing, short and intermediate. His deep ball accuracy is not good. His timing is good on underneath throws, and he leads receivers well. He's very accurate on throwing on the run as well. His decision making is solid with room to grow. Michigan's passing offense was pro style, and it wasn't only one read throws. He showed he can throw to his secondary reads. He avoids dangerous throws. He takes his checkdowns when necessary. He efficiently throws into tight windows, which is always good to see from college quarterbacks. He shows plus anticipation. He targets the middle of the field. He has a good throw under pressure. He can buy time in the pocket. He can escape the pocket when necessary. He's also a good scrambler with the toughness to finish plays. To explain the sudden draft stock rise, McCarthy is a young prospect that shows he can make the throws asked of him. He brings arm talent, athleticism, and decision making. He is definitely a boomer versus prospect though. There are questions about his touch, inconsistent accuracy, limited deep ball success, and even his light frame. As for my take, I like McCarthy more after I watched the tape but even with that being said, I don't see McCarthy reaching his ceiling in the NFL. His chances of being good in the league, however, will improve if he gets a year or two to sit behind a veteran quarterback. As a film watched, I watched every throw and run of this season of McCarthy um, in 2023. If you want to see it yourself, you just search up JJ McCarthy, every throw 2023. There it is. Anyway, possible teams. I got the Vikings here. I think this seems like a very... Um, popular destination right the vikings now pick 23 they can package that with pick 11 and move up we hear the cardinals might be trading out of four if that's where it happens and number five the chargers but looks like it'll be the first three picks at quarterback then mccarthy will be going very soon after the vikings to be a team that trades up another team that could trade up is the broncos i think i think sean payton would uh, would like um mccarthy and i think that's kind of what's been out there as well the broncos and all the second round picks they might have to package some other stuff up to get it to the spot and in the second round you know they don't, they don't have a chance to get it. you know maybe bonix or michael Penix if they fall so they might have to become more desperate in round one the giants are six and McCarthy might be here anyway and if he's not again the cardinals at four is an option but i think the Vikings are more um, of a possibility however the giants could definitely use someone that's better than daniel jones and maybe mccarthy is um so i would not be surprised if the giants do take a quarterback still and lastly, I have the Jets. I see an outside chance of the Jets taking their franchise quarterback in the future. We just saw Aaron Rodgers do with Jordan Love. Uh, in three years, you know, he got to be behind him and obviously just had a great, pretty much rookie season in terms of being a full-time starter. So McCarthy could definitely go to the Jets, maybe sit behind Aaron Rodgers for a couple of years before being a starter there. I would not mind that pick if I was the Jets. But anyway, that's my JJ McCarthy scanning report. I'm Arturo and thank you for watching.